On a warm night in August 1977, something remarkable happened. At Ohio State University's Big Ear Radio Telescope, a narrowband radio signal arrived from the constellation Sagittarius, a sharp, sudden burst that lasted just 72 seconds. It was so startling, so clean, so perfectly aligned with what scientists might expect from an artificial source, that when astronomer Jerry Amon saw the printout, he circled the data in red pen and scribbled one word beside it. Wow! That simple annotation gave birth to what is now known worldwide as the WOW. Signal. One of the greatest and most haunting mysteries in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The signal itself was extraordinary. Unlike the countless natural radio waves the telescope recorded day after day, this one stood out with stunning intensity. It matched the narrow frequency range, around 14 and 20 milliards, that SETI researchers believed an alien civilization might use, since it's tied to the natural emission frequency of hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe. But after those 72 seconds, the signal vanished, never to return. For decades, scientists have pointed radio telescopes back toward the same patch of sky, hoping for even the faintest whisper of a repeat. But nothing has ever been detected again. Speculation has swirled endlessly. Could it have been a reflection from a passing satellite? An unknown cosmic phenomenon? A secret military transmission? Or was it just maybe a brief hello from another civilization? A signal that just happened to sweep past Earth in the blink of a cosmic eye. Despite countless attempts to explain it, no natural or human-made source has ever been definitively linked to the WOW. Signal. The WOW. Signal remains one of SETI's greatest puzzles. A tantalizing clue that both inspires and frustrates. It reminds us how little we know, how vast the sky truly is, and how lonely we may be. Yet it also keeps alive the dream that perhaps, somewhere out there, someone tried to speak. And for a brief, flickering moment, across the abyss of space, we almost heard them.